Hey, it's Brian with Super Easy Toots, and in this tutorial we're going to cover field justification. Basically, we're going to use uh, right and left, the actual text of that, uh, with a set width manipulator to uh, justify text uh, and variables to the left or to the right. Now, in our previous uh, tutorial, we um, I'm going to use the same variables, uh, uh, an integer variable named T. Brady and an integer variable named Debreeze equal to 36 and 33. And when we see out it and we set the width to 10, the T Brady variable value by default goes off to the right. And we can use the word right and apply it. So basically, we've done the same thing in both of these lines. So I'm going to debug and run it, and you're going to see the exact same uh, the exact same output for line one and line two and there we have it so we have the 36 off to the right the 36 off to the right now what we can do is we can use left and right and intermix them but uh, first the, the left basically what I've done here is a see out statement with a set width of 10 which is only going to apply to this first variable named T Brady and left so it's going to make this uh, variable uh, value of T Brady, which is 3, 6, left justified. It's going to pull it off to the left now because of the word left. And then the, uh, I've set the width of 5 for the debris variable value. And the left is going to actually apply to the second debris. And we had to put the second set width in there because uh, from the previous tutorial, the set width only applies to the first item, basically item that follows it left however left or right will continue throughout um, in, until you change that so the left will apply to both so I've got that text right here this line right here I'm going to uncomment it and run it and now we see we have the 36 which is the um, T Brady variable value off to the left and then we have the uh, debris off to the left as well because that left has applied to both items so now what we can do to get around that is we're gonna have to actually use left and right uh, inside our, um, after set widths, excuse me. So basically right here I've got a, a C out statement with a set width of 10 applied to the T Brady variable value and I've got that off to the left here uh, in our field uh, of 10 and then I've got a set width of 5 applied to the debris variable value and I put the word right in there so basically what's the output on this is going to be the T Brady variable value is going to be left justified and the debris variable value, uh, variable value is going to be right justified by using this right and left term. So now I'm going to uncomment this, and we can see we have the left in here applied to the T Brady, the right applied to the debris. When we debug and run this, And there we have it. So we have the three six off to the left, as as we uh, as, as we had stated here, applying to the T Brady variable value, and then we have right justification uh, applying to the D Brees variable value. This would be uh, space ten. You can see. So we have basically one, two, three empty spaces, and the three three is right justified. Now this also does apply to text. I didn't cover that in the last tutorial. Um, these uh, set width manipulators. Uh, so here I've got a set width and then I've got text of beers, another set width of 10 shots, and then a set width of total if you wanted to keep track of your drinking one night. So you wanted to do a column chart uh, that had uh, your, your totals of beers and shots and maybe you had you and all your buddies in there. The only thing about this is this right, this word right here is going to apply to all of these as well. So I'm going to debug and run this, and we're going to see that our uh, the line I just uncommented is going to be right justified, and it is. We have 10 spaces basically here with the beers text off to the right, 10 spaces here, shots off to the right, and again here. So now if I go back and I change this to left, 
uh, it's going to apply to all of these, all three of these texts that have the set with manipulators in there. So we'll debug and run. And there we have it. Before we had them off to the right, now we've got everything justified to the left. So it's just that simple. You just have to get used to and remember to use the left and the right uh, terms when you're using the set widths. Uh, this will come in handy when you're doing columns uh, in various programs.